Dear students, this is the last video of unit number two. In unit number two of uh, digital image processing, you have histogram processing, histogram equalization. Histogram ke liye separate alag se video already upload kiya hai. So this will be the last video of unit number two. So dear students, today's topic is sharpening spatial filters, that is high pass filters. Earlier, we have discussed low pass filters. Recall the things. Low pass filter is used for smoothing effect. That means it produces blurred image, <clears throat> which is required in many uh, pre-processing applications. This is opposite case. We want to sharp an image. So this technique basically highlights fine details of an image. Blurring is the problem that maybe arises when you are acquiring, you are capturing an image or <clears throat> if you are performing averaging operation, then also blurring takes place. So this sharpening operation is used to remove the blurring contents in an image. It is used to enhance edges and other discontinuities of an image. So these are the immediate advantages of uh, performing sharpening that is high pass filters. As the name indicates, it passes higher uh, frequencies and blocks lower frequencies. As we have earlier we have studied low pass filter that is smoothing filter. In that filter, what we studied, if, if for example, we want to perform averaging, then we are adding all the values and we are multiplying it by say 1 by 9, 1 by 16. That means we are taking averaging. This is integration. High pass filter is opposite operation to that. So we need to perform the differentiation. That is, we want to take the derivative. Now, there are two types of derivatives that we are going to discuss. Uh, first is first order derivative. We know the normal definition of first order derivative is dab i by dab x is equals to <clears throat> f of x plus 1 minus f of x. That means we are taking differences between the two images. So some characteristics of first order derivative are listed. First is this first order derivative is zero for flat segment. Flat segment in case of image processing means suppose for certain number of pixels, uh, the gray level remains same. So that is the flat segment. Then at starting of gray level of step or ramp. See in normal, in other units, in other subjects, step signal is considered like this. There is a sudden change, a ramp is like this. So <clears throat> in case of step signal, there is a sudden change. That means there is a sudden change in the gray scale of image or gray scale, gray levels are continuously increasing, having some slope. So at the starting of gray level of step or ramp, the first order derivative is not zero. And along the entire ramp, this is the ramp, along the entire ramp, just remember that ramp, matlab, uh, the gray levels are increasing continuously, uh, having constant slope. So if we are talking about the case along the ramp, then first order derivative is non-zero. Next, second order derivative. Second order derivative is also called Laplacian operation or this del square term is called Laplace operator. So basic equation is del square of uh, f is equals to daba square f by daba x square. That means daba square by daba x square represents second order derivative with respect to x plus daba square by daba by square of f, f of x, y is an image. Uh, I have written two formulae related to taking second order derivative along x direction. So it is daba square f by daba x square. If you are taking derivative, second order derivative along x direction, then it is f of x plus 1 comma y plus f of x minus 1 comma y minus 2 times f of x comma y. f of x y, let us say it is a center value. At left hand side, we have uh, f of x minus 1 comma y. At right hand side, we have f of x plus 1 comma y. So take addition of left and right hand side uh, of pixels and then from that subtract this 2 times center value. Same technique. Uh, the equation for taking second order derivative along y direction is f of x comma y plus 1 plus f of x comma y minus 1 minus 2 times f of x comma y. This is the basic structure of the mask. So I have written notation z1, z2, z3 up to z9. So the corresponding mass related to size 3 by 3 is shown um, in this figure. 
the center value is 4 and these all extreme end values are 0 whereas remaining values are minus 1, minus 1, minus 1 and minus 1. So in this case the center value is corresponding to Z5. So I have written 4Z5. This is the mathematical equation related to this mass. The center value as shown in generalized diagram is Z5. This center value is 4. So first term is 4Z5. All these values are negative. These four values are negative. I am talking about these four values. These are negative. So I have taken minus sign outside. Look at this value. This is Z2. So it is Z2. This value is Z6. This is Z4. So it is Z4, Z6 and this value is Z8. So corresponding equation is 4Z5 minus addition of this Z2, Z4, Z6 plus Z8. This is a uh, you can well rotate it in 45 degree uh, in 90 degree without making any effect Matlab, this is irrotational in terms of 90 degree if you rotate the mask by 90 degree you will get the same result second mask is shown in which center value is multiplied with 8 and all the remaining values are minus 1 so the Formula corresponding to this is del square f is 8z5 because this is center value minus all values are present. In earlier case, these four values were 0. Here all remaining values apart from center value is minus 1. So I have written minus addition of all elements except this center value. So z1, z2, z3, z4, z6, z7, z8 uh, and z9 should be also there. So <clears throat> this is the corresponding equation related to this mask. This mask is rotational as far as 45 degree and 90 degree both are concerned. If you rotate this mask by 45 degree or even 90 degree result will remain same. This second order derivative is used to highlight the gray level discontinuities but the problem is that the background will be featureless that means background may be dark after performing this sharpening operation that is after performing this high pass filtering to recover the background while uh, preserving while maintaining the sharpening effect matlab second order derivative hum log use karenge to background featureless ho jata hai background dark ho jata hai wo avoid karna hai aur jo sharpening effect hum log kar rahe hai image sharp kar rahe hai <coughs> that should be maintained so for that you have to consider the original image from the original image f of xy subtract this Laplacian image. Matlab, la, ye operator mask use karke ek Laplacian image karenge, that will be subtracted from the original image if center value is if uh, center value is having negative coefficient. Matlab, is case mein, jase ye suppose minus 4 hai, then I will write all these values equals to plus 4. So in this case center value is having negative uh, coefficient. So we will be making use of this formula. If center value is having positive coefficient matlab, jo pehle dekha ta, aur is diagram mein dekho, if center value is having uh, positive uh, plus 8 uh, it's plus 8 value so in that case we'll be making use of this formula very simple uh, kya karna hai agar background preserve karna hai <coughs> dark uh, jo background ho hai, usko preserve karna hai as well as we want to preserve the sharpening effect so we need to subtract or add that depends on the uh, sign of uh, center value <coughs> we need to subtract or add uh, the Laplacian image in that particular original image. So this is about the second order derivative. Now properties of second order derivative are same to that of first order derivative which we have already discussed but in case of second order derivative if we are talking about ramp or step signal then at the starting as well as at the ending uh, the values of derivative will be non-zero. This is the only difference. Another variation related to high pass filtering is unsharp masking and high boost filtering. High boost filtering means as the name indicates we want to increase the uh, gray levels. So <clears throat> it is given by this equation high boost filtered image is obtained by using this formula A. A is some constant value with which we want to perform the multiplication. So A into original image minus low pass filtered version of an image. As I said, A is some constant value and we should modify this value according to the requirement. Then, 
There is one more variation that is called unsharp masking. In this case, this unsharped masking, uh, masked image is obtained by subtracting the blurred version of an image from the original image. So it is f of x comma y which is original image minus f bar x comma y which is the blurred version of an image. If you want to perform high boosting, make it more simple. Boosting means we want to increase the value by some amount. This is the mask here. So if I will write the value as a plus 4, that means we are performing boosting operation. So it is a times f of x y that is original image minus blurred version of image f bar x comma y. So these are the corresponding masks related to a 40, 90 degree orientation and 45 degree orientation. These are similar to the earlier mask only center values are changed a plus 4 and uh, a plus 8. The practical example of this high boost filtering is uh, X-rays used in medical applications. If you perform high boost filtering, then brightness of that X-ray image will be increased. So this is about unsharp masking and high boost filtering. So dear students, that's it for today's session. Thank you. Thanks a lot for watching this video.